Oh shit. No one leaves my <laughs> Fucking crazy lady. Hate to make compliments, but I might have underestimated the usefulness of your ape like physique, Mr. Blaskovich. That you should. Tell me. What is it? Das Yuchud is an ancient mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, no, Mamale, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamale. The technology developed by Das Yuchud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined. And highly dangerous in the wrong hands. And the Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found. Others, great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeeper's hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. Stealing a goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing? Are you off your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We would need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Why am I always the one fucking oh. fine? Say it good, say it good. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. I know. Sit. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization of yours. Was it some kind of supernatural engineering? We don't believe in things supernatural, Mama. We believe in God. The Das Yechov is, is, is a, it's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bogus. Everything you have created, what were you planning on using all that stuff for? You don't understand. There was never any You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Fucking crazy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. My dear Sebastian. Someone's been studying up on helicopters. Freaking creepy whatsoever. He was imprisoned in Eisenwald for three months, but he managed to escape. Really? From Eisenwald? Uh, as you go there, you never. Shh, shh, it's him.
You're looking at me for answers, are you? I have answers, you ape. Real answers of importance. Meaningful answers. None of which you would like. Most of which would make you want to lay down on your back and surrender. Most of which would put a pit in your stomach. Eh, uh, whatever. What do you want, Blaskowitz? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. No, oh, wait a minute. No, you're right, you're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. Are you serious? I'm busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there and you should find the welder somewhere down in the water somewhere. Oh, fucking hell, you're an asshole. Are you fucking serious? Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of said process blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past, and you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma, temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of What the fuck is, am I listening to? Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness. What the fuck is wrong with your eye? The same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. <gasps> What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are! <gasps> what the actual fuck? Does she have a crush on me or something? I don't think so, but she's got fucking cuckoo. What to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Hours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> you think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. 
My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh, what do you have the... the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. Hmm. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? Oh shit, the other eye is out. Okay, that's a weird little thingy. Whatever. Man, we've got so many guests here. Aren't you down at the chopper? That's... He was sleeping next to a friggin' bomb? Oh, he truly has gone nuts. Oh, found it. Thank you for that. <coughs> do, do, do. Where's the wedding wing? It's over here, so let's go. Lady, found your wedding ring. Here you go. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration for near that time comes. You're on. I... I see that. You have a lot of weapons. Why didn't I take my double-barreled shotgun? Oh my god, you fuckers. Why must I always leave behind my shotgun?
climbing the ladder because it's fun and da 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 Charging my weapon because I have nothing better to do I can't go that way I'm gonna have to jump Fuck do I have to go? Calm down, Jake, with this. Aha. Climb, 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 climb. know what to expect now, so... <laughs> Press button... Fuck you, diary, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Fuck you. Mine now. Love to see somebody fucking try. Come on, try and fucking sneak up on me. the fuck? <laughs> D 
Do 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 do. Just casually lugging around a giant minigun. Do 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 do. I could have used my shotgun, but I'll settle for a minigun. All that work for a lousy welder. Next time you go get it, Fergus. And next time you should get If we're it. going to steal a Nazi U-boat, I need oh, set to repair that thing on the table. Isha, 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 That's all I need. Well, actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. Like okay. I'm a goddamn errand boy. 